Hey everyone, Shadow Rockets here, and today I decided to retry recording the lore footage story, yes, video. And so I don't have the extra topic that I wanted to, but I actually didn't have time this weekend to play custom games with Tier 1 and that bunch, so because of that, this is going to take the place of that custom game play today. So... And also, sorry uh, for my, I guess, mess up earlier. I had a problem with the upload of my Far Cry 4 gameplay. And so that sucked, but we got through it. And so check that out because the new, the new version is up now and it should be pretty solid. So you're going to see me get about 27 kills in this game. Pretty solid to say the least. But I want to talk about the Flood and the Logic Plague. Let's... That is the main topic of this, and so I don't really want to talk about mendicant bias because I feel like that is the main topic of everyone saying like, oh, mendicant bias, Halo 5, whatever. So I feel like you've been oversaturated with news about mendicant bias, and so we're not going to talk about him, her, it today. But I am going to go into a little bit of detail in case you didn't know that the Flood possessed the ability to use logic in order to change the mindset or ideas of AI or even people. This logic plague is a technique that was used to attack uh, foreigners and other foreigner things such as AIs during the Foreigner Flood War a long, long time ago. And so this was a non-biological way that the flood, I guess, infected the foreigners. And it even, it kind of, when it infected the AI, it kind of forced them to act sort of like they were rampant, except for they had goals and objectives and they carried them out. And essentially, the flood just, like I said, used logic. It simply said, look, this is what you're people want you to do, your owners want you to do, but this is why they're wrong, and it essentially just reasoned with them. Now, if you didn't know, the the ability to induce the logic plague develops alongside the manifestation and growth of a grave mind. The parasite's capacity to do so, or to use the logic plague, I should say, continues to increase as the flood gains more biomass and thus more processing power and intelligence. So back in the Foreigner Flood War, there were grave mines that got so big and acquired so much biomass that they were called key mines, which eventually enabled the parasite to match any Foreigner AI near the end of the war. So that was very interesting. It even let them essentially control just so many precursor things I don't, I don't know really how to describe them they used tools that allowed them to just bend reality around them and everything so they were very powerful very strong and they just oh my goodness so many things that so Cortana I, I kind of want to get into Cortana because everyone oh that sounded bad everyone wants to hear like oh why didn't Cortana get taken over instead of or you know I mean she's just a human AI she's not even a foreigner AI how did the grave mind not persuade her to just go rampant which she did go rampant but that was just over the course of time well the flood nearly succeeded in corrupting the human smart AI Cortana while holding her captive uh, she was really she was quickly rendered helpless against the grave mind, being completely incapable of identifying the points of the grave mind's intrusion in her system. The grave mind attempted to corrupt Cortana through a variety of means after partially taking over her systems. Uh, it tried to directly convince her to join the flood through arguments. Uh, these, these, I guess they were pretty similar to the ones used to, uh, I guess, capture mendicant bias, as well as it attempted to agonize her human creators while offering the promise of infinite information and unity if she surrendered. So it forced her to vividly experience memories of the Flood's past victims, complete with their deaths, 
and the grave mine intended to exploit the Raymond Raymond sums. Oh no, <laughs> Raymond Matrix's fundamental shortcoming by forcibly feeding Cortana with immense amount of data in order to dramatically expedite the onset of rampancy. However, Cortana was recovered by Master Chief before the Grave Mine could complete the process. So, if that's what you were wondering, if that's why you were saying, uh oh, they can't really do that, it is because Chief saved her in advance. So that's pretty cool. The problem that AI had with the Flood, I mean, it's just, you can't argue with it when the Flood has a relationship with the Mantle, which is essentially where all of their data is just kept. That is all of their past data and lives and weird stuff and I don't know, pornos or something. I don't. It's all kept in the mantle, and once once the flood became so great in its abilities with the key mines and everything, it did have a relationship to the mantle, and so it could essentially tap into that data, which is crazy to think that they're so similar or so closely tied to everything. But I mean, I guess they are everything because they are just the biomass that they consume. So they did attack an AI, one in particular called Catalog. And Catalog was a judicial data collector. And it was subject to a lot of just crazy information about the flood and the precursors and motivation. And it's just... It even learned about how the precursors integrated the law, quote unquote, of the mantle into the very genetic code of their creations. So there's just crazy, like, magic science going on here that I kind of want to read about for later videos. But, I mean, they infected Catalog with a little piece of its data, a self replicating code, if you will, within the Catalog systems and. Whenever the catalog, I don't want to say the catalog, whenever catalog spoke to other AI, it infected the AI through its tones and through how it spoke. So it was just, it was crazy. It was a plague. I mean, the forerunners, whenever they were fighting this, the only thing they could do was just at the initial, the very first sign of being taken over, being corrupted, they just shut it off. And of course, they compartmentalized things so that, you know, this one particular AI only controls one thing and that's it, that's all it knows, so it doesn't know any extra data just in case a grave mind takes it over or tries to infect it and gain that extra data. So that's pretty nice. As we get closer to the end of this gameplay, I do want to tell you that there is so many cool things that you can look up and find if you just take the time to look it up in Halo. I mean, just I'm loving reading all of these things and I hope to come at you next week with an awesome topic. So if you like this video, don't forget to like, favorite, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you this week, and I should be free. Shadow Rockets out.